Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get 90% better research results than most people when you start combining AI models. Most people limit themselves by using just one AI tool for research, but one of the most powerful combinations you can use is Perplexity and Notebook LM because they're far more effective when you use them together. Perplexity gives you real-time sources with clean citations and Notebook LM helps you go deeper with your analysis. When you combine them, they become a workflow that delivers un unbelievable insights in minutes. So in this video, I'll show you practical ways to use Perplexity and Notebook LM to sharpen both your research and business work. We'll cover tracking new trends and uncovering market gaps, and I'll share the exact prompts so that you can copy straight into your own projects. So let's get started. For our first use case, we'll look at spotting trends in AI market growth and adoption in the public sector. And this type of analysis is really useful if you're creating a strategic report, building a market analysis, or preparing an investor presentation, because you need to base your work on the latest credible studies and forecasts. Here's the prompt I gave Perplexity. Find the most recent reports from 2023 to 2025 on AI market growth and adoption in the public sector. And I've mentioned the key sources for it to prioritize like McKinsey, PwC and so on. Summarize the key findings, growth forecasts and examples of adoption and highlight any challenges, gaps or limitations in the research. Okay, so you can see that Perplexity returned a ranked list with detailed breakdowns for each report. What I like here is that it doesn't just give titles, it pulls in the key findings, sector insights, methods, and even the limitations. For example, McKinsey's report is strong on adoption data, but weak on public sector detail. The World Bank's note goes deep into public governance and Oxford Insights comes in from a different angle altogether. It's about readiness, not adoption, but still critical building a strategic report. So from here, we can choose which of these reports are the most relevant to drop into Notebook LM. And a really important follow-up prompt is to ask Perplexity for clean URLs of all the sources. That way, and you can copy everything in one go into Notebook LM, and where we'll move from collecting sources to actually generating our structured report. Okay, so now let's take everything into Notebook LM. First step, so I created a new notebook and pasted in the URLs of the reports. Next, I clicked on Create Report. And here's the great part. Notebook LM gives you different report styles to pick from. You can choose a blog post, strategic report, white paper, concept explainer. Since our focus is on AI trends, I'm going to choose the strategic report. When you click it, you'll see that Notebook LM has a ready-made prompt into the box. So we're going to generate, and it builds the plan directly from our sources. And here's the result. Notebook LM provides us with a full comprehensive report from our sources. It's conducted a full analysis and synthesis and come back with the key areas, scaling incremental value, data and infrastructure, and an implementation roadmap. This is what makes Notebook LM so powerful. And instead of just listing insights, it turns those reports we found with perplexity into a full strategic plan, phases, pillars, and real recommendations. So instead of weeks of researching and analyzing, you get your full report in minutes. Okay, let's look at another use case. This time, we're going to see how Perplexity and Notebook LM can uncover market gaps by analyzing social discussions. Forums like Reddit are packed with real frustrations from founders and small business owners. And if you organize those insights properly, they can reveal real opportunities. So first, we're going to add this prompt in Perplexity and make sure that here you set the source as social so we get the discussions and opinions. So our prompt asks it to search Reddit threads from 2023 to 2025, where founders and small business owners discuss their biggest frustrations with using AI tools. Here, we're asking it to pull five things from each thread, the main pain points, direct quotes from users, the specific AI tools mentioned, the type of business or industry context, and any recurring themes across posts. Again, it comes back with some really interesting results, showing the main pain points exactly as we asked. Founders talk about high costs, tricky integrations, and customer-facing AI that often does more harm than good, or that they actually create more work instead of saving time. And again, we're going to add a follow-up prompt here that says, provide the clean URLs for all the above sources. Okay, now let's take these Reddit threads into Notebook LM. I'm going to create a new notebook and add in all my URLs. Again, we will click on reports. This time, instead of picking a preset format, I'm going to create my own report. And I'm going to add this custom prompt, draft a marketing gap report for small business owners and managers on the challenges of using AI tools, summarize the key frustrations from founders and small business owners, 
owners in 2023 to 2025 analyze where current AI tools are falling short. Things like usability, costs, integration, reliability, and customer support. Identify the marketing and communication gaps, highlight opportunities for providers to close those gaps, and finally, to give actionable recommendations for small business owners, practical steps they can take to navigate these gaps when choosing or using AI tools. Okay, now we'll generate so here's the report Notebook LM comes back with, and you can see it's structured into clear sections. It starts with the reality check, showing how the hype around AI often clashes with the messy day-to-day -day of small business. Then it dives into five common pain points, from sales bots that feel like polished spam, to creative tools that break brand rules, to coding agents that look great on the surface, but flop on the back end. Next, it unpacks the deeper adoption barriers, things like lack of time, messy data, and the need to keep the human touch. It also shows the marketing reality gap. And, and finally, it flips that frustration into a playbook with opportunities for tool providers and practical steps small businesses can take right now. So instead of a pile of scattered Reddit complaints, you get a structured strategic report, something you can actually use for decision-making or market research. But you can see here, Notebook LM doesn't just summarize complaints, it finds the gaps and turns them into a structured market gap report. So as we've seen in this video, combining perplexity and notebook LM helps you build powerful workflows. You're not just collecting information, no, you're generating high quality research and transforming it into structured insights that you use to help you make decisions faster. So if you found this useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe, and I'll be sharing more step-by-step -step workflows with real prompts that you can try right away. And if you want to take this even further, check out the other videos on my channel, where I break down how to use AI tools to make your research faster, smarter, and way more impactful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.